is your cosrx nail missing essence fake let's talk about that possibility if you know anything about the skincare industry you know that this product has been viral for a few years and i have used it personally and even reviewed it i liked it enough to miss it now that it's not in my routine but i didn't love it enough to feel like i always needed it in my routine however in the past few months there's been an increasing number of people complaining that they believe that they got a fake version of this product so much so that even cosrx on their instagram page had to make a disclaimer video talking about this issue however there's also the possibility that people are not actually getting thick snail missing essences and they just think they are in this video we are going to dissect a brief history of cosrx and this fake snail missing saga the issues surrounding why your cosrx snail missing essence may feel or look different depending on where you are what to do to avoid buying fake cosrx new missing essence as well as other skincare products in fact and i will give my personal opinion about this so who am i to actually talk about this hi my name is desire and i am a pharmacist with two master's degree in the european master in translational cosmetic and dermatological sciences as well as a certification from beauty therapy institute nigeria as a cosmetic scientist i also have experience in cosmetic manufacturing so this video Video is a compilation of information I've gotten from the brand's official information channels, creators like Carla that I respect and I like, as well as my opinion as a scientist, especially one in the cosmetics field. So let's continue. <music> to Cosrx's Amazon official store, went from their website to their Amazon store and I got it. Yesterday I was filming and then my phone got full. So we're going to unbox the package and I'll show you some peculiarities of the Cosrx new missing. So this is the one I got here in Italy. You can see that there's a lot of information by the side. There is, this is also what the other side looks like. And the front itself looks like this. One thing I noticed is that the i haven't even finished unboxing it as you can see one thing you can notice is that here normally i noticed that there was only one flap like just this but now i realize that here at least for this one i'm not sure if the one in nigeria is like this i'll confirm you have two flaps like this so yes let's get it out of the bottle out of the package this is the snail missing the bottle actually does feel more glassy than i remember it to be but this cap is definitely plastic you know what, since I haven't used this in years, let's actually just have a first look at the texture. Okay. Oh, that is very, aww, that is very stringy. It's still as slimy as I remember. If you want to see an updated review, or if you want me to compare it to the Jimiso one and the TM one, because I've actually used both of those, please leave a comment and I will do that. While this does feel as stringy as I remember it, I used it a few years ago, so my memory may not be so clear. It may actually feel slightly different. CosRx is actually got it from Cosmetics and RX. RX means prescription in the medical industry. This brand was powdered in 2013, and as of November 2023, has been fully acquired by Amore Pacific, which is a cosmetic giant. They have a wide range of products and they say that they focus on sensitive skin and simple formulations. I have used over six Cosrx products and I actually quite like their formulations. They are simple, they are pleasant to use, the sensoriality is really nice and they do not break the bank. So it's no shocker that such a brand is doing so well so far. One thing you may have noticed is that if you go to different sites or different regions in the world, this product costs different yes for example on starvana i've seen it range anywhere from 13 dollars or 13 euros to about 16 dollars or 16 euros however if you go to asos you will see this same product being sold for 40 pounds personally i bought this from their amazon for 19.77 euros but in nigeria you can find it anywhere from 10,000 naira to 14,000 naira so why does this product cost so different all around the world number one is the economics of perceived value for example i feel comfortable buying a finger of plantain here for one euro but when i go home to nigeria i definitely do not want to buy one finger of plenty for 1200 naira why is that is because of perceived value what this means is that often people will buy things according to the value that they perceive it has the value that they believe it has this is also something that happens with luxury products people are paying thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars for a dress yes sometimes it's because the dress has such great quality but often it's also because of the brand name or the luxury that it provides them. It is exactly because of the economics of perceived value. In different parts of the world, there is also the standard of living of people. So let's be honest, this costs about $25 in altar in the US. Would you pay 25,000 naira 
for the Cosarex no missing essence. I personally would not, and many Nigerians also would not. But that's not the only reason why this product causes difference across regions. Here are some of the other possible reasons why this product would cause difference. Transaction costs. Yes, you are able to get the Cosarex no missing essence and other products from places like Ulta, H&M, ASOS, even Amazon. And these retailers actually do have to make their own profit. And the companies also have to transport these products to those retailers. So all of these transaction costs, including other business costs that we don't even know about, are some of the reasons why these products cost more across different retailers. Reason number three is taxes and import duties. Now, as you may know, the Naira is not the strongest currency in the world, for example. But we have stronger currencies like pounds, euros, dollars. The import duties and taxes will typically be in that currency. Because the Naira is not as strong, as these currencies of course our taxes and import duties will typically cost less which can make the product cheaper in nigeria for example another reason why this might cost more is that if cosarex has an office in a particular country they may be required to pay a lot more regulatory fees they have to employ more people they have to pay for the office space and in those regions where they have to spend more to keep their business running it is possible that their products will cost more this also answers the question why doesn't cosarex just ship to nigeria because if they bring their entire company to Nigeria, the product will most likely cost more. Also for our economy, it is great because having authorized resellers helps them to have authentic presence in Nigeria without having to go through the rigorous process of starting up an entire new company. And it also helps these authorized retailers to grow their business, which then helps smaller businesses like even my store, D-Skin store, to purchase from them easily as opposed to shipping all the way from Hong Kong or China or wherever to make the products cheaper for the average Nigerian. It's actually very okay that Cosarex does not have physical presence in Nigeria. Let's talk about why it seems like the Cosarex new missing actually feels different across countries and regions. So if you notice, the Kellogg's cornflakes that you may get in the USA is different from the Kellogg's cornflakes that you get in the EU and definitely different from the Nigerian version that we have. That is what companies do. If you're such a big multinational company, at the end of the day, you may either end up franchising or you may have to tweak the formula of your product either due to cost that you want to save due to the taste buds of the society or due to the temperature that the society has or due to regulatory checks that the company has and similar thing goes for skincare products with skincare products like this when you notice that there is a difference in the formula in the eu for example and the one in nigeria it could be that there is a slight formula variation yes i'm not saying that this is exactly what happens with the cosarex new missing essence but i'm saying that this is something that happens with brand in general they may actually need to change the change of the formulation a bit not necessarily always because they want to save costs although that could be one of the reasons they may also do this because the formula may not be stable in very cold Canada and then hot Dubai formula stability is something that is extremely important when it comes to formulation and some ingredients do not hold up very well in certain temperatures and when you are transporting something from one region to the other you also have to bear that in mind so when cosmetic formulators make variations of products that is something that is extremely extremely important which is why it is possible that the formulation we have of this in nigeria may just be different from the one that is in the eu it could also be due to regulations although this is a very simple formula it's actually possible that they had to do slight variations in the formulation to get in with the regulatory bodies however as of november 7 2023 Pasarex released a brief statement via nectar beauty one of their official distributors and authorized resellers in nigeria stating that they did not change the formulation here is where my theory comes in i believe that it is possible that a few years ago they were using the same exact formula across board however over time they may have either noticed that there was an instability in the formulation across board or there were some regulatory changes they needed to make or they wanted to save some costs which we'll talk about later so they changed up the formulation in nigeria which is why i've actually heard a few people say oh the formulation feels a bit different than it used to feel before that may be because they changed up the formula just a bit i'm not 250 percent sure that they did this but this is my theory as to why it feels a bit different then than it does now now let's talk about the packaging 
differences across the world. There's a beauty creator on TikTok that I love her content. Her name is Carla. She noticed that the Cosrx Neo Missing Essence packaging looks different and reached out to them and she was able to get a response. I also sent Cosrx a DM but I never got a response. So I did ask her permission to reference her video. You can also watch her video on TikTok and I'll link it in the description below. According to the message that they sent to her, Cosrx said that they have three different packaging. They have one for the EU, one for Canada and one for Global. And I believe that Global is the one that we have in Nigeria. However, the one in Canada noticeably does not have this right, this particular writing by the side while the one in the eu distinctly has this sticker notably the one in the eu is also the one that feels a bit glassy and this fits in with the eu sustainability practices if you don't know the eu wants to be the first carbon neutral continent in the world by 2050 so they're putting in a lot of effort into sustainability in packaging and that may be part of the reason why they had to change up the packaging of this to fit into the eu strategy and once you change up the packaging of any product you have to go and tweak the formulation so that means that if they decided to either change the packaging from this or to another one which they may have had to do then that means that they may have had to tweak the formula and if you tweak the formula you may notice some differences even though the hope of brands is that when they tweak the formula consumers don't notice a lot of consumers like you and I would notice when a formula has been tweaked just a little bit. The essence of tweaking the formula is so that it doesn't actually lose its essence. But for some consumers, it just doesn't feel the same. And that's where complaints like what we're seeing with the Cosrx Snail Missing comes up. Another thing to note is that snail missing is a natural ingredient that is extracted from snails. What happens according to Cosrx is that snails are put in a dark but safe environment and just allowed to kind of like, you know, do their thing and secrete the snail mucin essence and then they collect it and extract what they need from the snail mucin. What this means is that unfortunately you cannot exactly tell how the product will be per batch. There may be slight batch variations. It may smell just a bit different with the one that comes today and then the one tomorrow may look just a bit different and then the one next week may be just a bit slimy depending on the snails themselves, the environment, the weather, how they're feeling and so many idiosyncratic factors that we cannot even know. So that is something to bear in mind. Cosrx actually admits to Carla also in the video that there may be slight changes in the formula with batches. And if you change the packaging material, you may also have to change the printing on it. And that may be why we see that this looks lighter or darker depending on the country that you are in. In different regions also, how you write the LOT or the batch number or the expiration date may differ. And that's why this may also look different depending on the country that you are in. With all these being said and all of these variations, how then do you know that your Cosrx Neo Missing Essence is not fake? Honestly, the only way that you can be 100% sure is to buy from trusted vendors and authorized resellers. I know that this is dicey. First of all, Cosrx actually has a list of authorized resellers and distributors on their website, but that list is not exhaustive. For example, I love Starvana and I shop from Starvana and we all know that Starvana is authentic, but guess what? It's not on Cosrx's website. But that's not all. In response to a comment on the video that they made about the fake snail missing essence, somebody mentioned Starvana and said that they buy from Starvana. Cos Rx actually responded and said that Starvana works with one of the distributors that they have. So that means that it's not only the places on their website that you can get authentic products. Part of the reason why they do have these resellers is so that they can sell to other businesses in the country. So you have to do due diligence and make sure that the sources you're buying from are actually sources that we can trust businesses that either are just starting out but are trustworthy or those who have been there for years and are trustworthy that would mean different things in different regions on amazon for example personally i would only recommend that you shop from their cosrx store however as a caveat i'll say that when you shop on marketplaces like amazon alibaba you should only buy from the Cosrx official store. Because it's a marketplace, you really cannot trace where anyone is. You cannot trace it's authentic or not. And I would personally recommend that you only go through traceable sources to buy the Cosrx new missing essence and any skincare products, in fact. Even the biggest brands in the world have third-party distributors because that is just how business works. Here's one final thing that I want to say. 
I have the opportunity to be a PCCD in this industry. That means that I am a professional content creator, a consumer, as well as a vendor. So that means that I can look at these things from different perspectives. As a consumer, I understand that it is tough for you to feel like you're spending your money and you're not sure if you're getting authentic products or not. So in this case, I want you to pay attention to social media. Yes, social media. Try to look at where your favorite creators are buying their products from and just, you know, follow them as a guideline for where to buy products from. You can also check websites like Trustpilot to see if those vendors exist and critically look at the reviews. Now, in speaking specifically to Nigerians, there are many authentic vendors that we have in Nigeria. I know that we are worried that we may get fake products because of things that have happened in the past, but I want you to know that we do have a lot of good authentic vendors in Nigeria who have been building their brands for years. Brands that I respect, brands like Tika for like Tulip Body. And I'm also building my brand, D Skin Store. So I do understand the concern. And as a content creator, I want to say that I believe that it is very important that we are sure of what we are saying regarding authenticity or regarding anything really before we call out brands on social media. I understand the concern that what if the product is fake? But until you are 100% sure and you have reached out to the brand and they're not being forthcoming, then I think it is rather unfair to come and to put them on blast without doing due diligence. But if, if you have done it, of course, and they're not forthcoming, I can understand that you are calling them out. But putting them on blast without giving them a fair chance is a tad unfair. Because when we buy from brands like Yes Style, Style Korean Global, we don't call them out for fake products. I know that Nigerian vendors may not be as developed as these, but many of them are also buying just directly from from those stores because they are authorized sources as well to make these products easily accessible to the average nigerian which i know is a respectable thing to do and it also honestly helps them make money because at the end of the day all of us are trying to make a living while these reasons i have given are possibilities not particularly confirmed by the brand except those i got from the creators and their website these are based on my experience and my personal opinion as a scientist and as well as a consumer there may be other reasons this video is not an exhaustive list but it's just to give you insight as to why your cosrx products may indeed not be fake but just may be a variation based on the region that you live in or you bought it in believe me we've seen a lot including this one which is evidently a whole other ripoff level and this goes for many brands especially the bigger ones who have to sell across many regions in the world i truly enjoyed making this video and giving you more insights would you like to see more insights on how the cosmetic industry works and things that consumers on a normal day would not see please leave a comment below what do you think about the cosrx nail mist in essence have you actually ever used it before have you been a victim of buying a fake cosrx nail mist in essence or any other fake cosmetic product please let me know in the comments and of course if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments if you have not subscribed please do please like and share this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Thank you.